Well, hey there. Just got home from work and wanted to make a video and tell you guys a little bit about some new tobacco I got. Um, so first off, the free tobacco. That's right, free. Um, Sterling Tobacco Company sent me these two bags of tobacco. Um, this is their bargain blend, best of the rest sort of uh, deal. So you can try it for free, see if you like it, and order more, hopefully, of the same batch. Um, um, I haven't tried it yet. This is the amount of the sample. Um, it's $15 a pound. Um, and then this is one they sent me called Briar Creek Natural. Um, 1776 Briar Creek Natural. It actually says on here that it's a light aromatic. Um, and it said on the website it's a natural tobacco, not an aromatic. Um, but it's a burly Virginia with a little bit of oriental. So I've had a bowl and a half of this and a little corn cob. And um, the jury is still out. The first bowl was pretty good, really wanted another. The second bowl was, was okay. Pretty good for free, but uh, nothing great. Um, now to my bigger tobacco uh, order that's come in. I got this huge lot of tobacco uh, from a member of Brothers of Briar, uh, an online forum, who decided he doesn't like Latakia and so he sold off pounds and pounds of Latakia tobaccos and really quickly and for very, very cheap. And I was able to jump on this uh, a little bit of lot right here, which was a bunch of Penzance, which for many is sort of the holy grail of tobaccos, or at least of uh, English blends. It's uh, very hard to get a hold of. Um, prices on eBay are about uh, up 20 to 30 bucks for a tin, and 60 bucks to 70 sometimes even for an 8 ounce package. Um, but he gave me 15 ounces of bulk that he had stored in jars for $18, uh, plus shipping. Um, and he sent the jars with them, so I have those to store them in. And there was uh, some other uh, tobaccos that were in there as well. Um, so I'm just opening it, and I'll let you guys kind of take a look with me and, and share in the excitement. So I pull this stuff out for the first time. This is very well packaged. Um, packing peanuts. Uh, newspaper and bubble wrap. Alright, here's the first one. Bubble wrap. Jar. Mason jar. Which is pretty much, I believe, the consensus is the best way to store your bulk tobacco. And it says on top 474. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm guessing this is Penzance from the look of it. It's a really dark flake. I don't know if you can see in there a little bit what the tobacco looks like. Um, but it's a dark flake. Um, I believe the other tobaccos were Esoterica's um, Pembroke and some uh, Greg P's Kensington um, as well. And they're about you know, four ounces of each of those, I think. Um, so, more bubble wrap, another jar. Ken Kensington ID 3824. Don't know exactly what that means, um, but this is some of Greg Pease's Kensington. Another. Alright, so here it is. Um, Looks like 15 ounces, he said, of Penzance in four mason jars. That's nearly a pound of the stuff. And remember, it is a flake, so it's going to be packed in a bit denser uh, because of that. And here's some Kensington. And these must here be the Pembroke. I'm excited. I hope y'all are excited for me. Um, so, 
I guess maybe some time to hear my thoughts on Penzance and whether or not it is all that it's cracked up to be. So, happy smoking. Alright, I'm uh, jarring up some bulk tobaccos. Got some Greg Pease tins down here, some Cairo, some Abington, and some Haddo's Delight. This is the anniversary cake, and it's just a really interesting uh, form of tobacco, and then it's in a cake form, which I've never held before, so um, sticking it in a jar uh, to put some age on it. I've uh, already jarred up some Peter Stuck by our natural, dated, jarred, ready to go. And then I've also got just a little bit of uh, Peter Stuck by his luxury twist flake which is also a very interesting flake form because it's all twisted. I don't know if you can see that well, but it's, uh, it's a weird, interesting sort of thing. So I'm going to give these a few years, hopefully, and see how they go.